Tonight, white flight, the changing face of one of Britain's most celebrated communities. I'm Lisa Miller at Newham in London's East End. For centuries, this place has been home to a tight-knit, largely white, Cockney tribe. But for the past 15 years, they've been steadily disappearing. Those that have remained have struggled to hang on to their identity as newcomers have arrived from all parts of the globe. When the BBC recently ran a documentary about what was happening in the East End, it attracted real controversy. Some people called it honest, others branded it racist. It certainly contains confronting opinions, but it gives us an insight into how immigration is changing neighbourhoods and a nation that just voted itself out of Europe. See what you think. Right, I'm there without the kitchen, please. Listen, I've got burning pots in the end. The Oakmans are one of the oldest families left in Newham. That's all that matters. Nice and so you get all the flavours of the lamb going through now. You've got to get back seventeen dinners out there. That's all right. I've got to do jacket dinner and all. So that's not what. Pat and Debbie are fifth generation Eastenders whose family have always lived streets apart from each other. It's nice to have traditional East End families and all get together and all get on. We all have our ups and downs. Don't get me wrong. We've We've had murders where we've had, but like, I've had with the girls big time. But we'll always be there for each other. I smell it now, can't you? Mm, it smells lovely. It's like a bed. It's just mm. falling off the bone, mm. look. It's just Christmas day dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it nice to learn? Oh, really it's tasty. Can't, can't those down, can the Oakmans have one son and two daughters 28 year old Amy and 33 year old Leanne, who each have two children of their own. Leanne's got the two boys, Freddie and uh, Teddy, and their name has got Millie and Madison. They're my life, they're my world. I give up my whole life for my kids. From 16 up until however old I am now, until the day I die, I've had them babies. But today marks the last of a long tradition for the Oakmans. In a week's time, Leanne is leaving her East End roots to make a new life an hour away in Rayleigh. Obviously, it's like... I want, to, I want to see the difference. I want to see... I mean, she's the only girl I've got moving out to Essex. Other than that, we've always been in the East End of London. It's so a better life. Um, years I ago, know. people would have a fight with their fist yeah. and that would be it when we grew up, going to school. Not anymore. Now people oh, will bring that. in knives. It's not like the old East End. Oh. Everyone knew everyone. Mm. Leave your doors open. You knew who you was hanging around with. You don't know more. And it's not your children, it's, it's other people. Now. It is other people as well. And it's just scary, I think. This is what I can't get, that I'm now losing my children to Essex because of, they don't want to live in the East End, and I still want to know why. I've lived here and I'm born and bred here and I'll probably die here because I'm an East Ender and I want to stay in my roots. The biggest change, I think, is the pub shape. Yeah. You mean closes? There are so many pubs closed down. And I'm one of Muslims, Muslims don't drink, do they? So that's another, that's another change. The East Ham Working Men's Club has been serving Newham for over 60 years and is now one of the last places of refuge for its dwindling Cockney community. I've been here 25 years, 25 years. Came here when I had black hair, believe it or not. <laughs> I love everything about this club, everything. Everybody's a character up in there, really. He was known as Eddie the Pie. Proper, proper EastEnders, yeah, good people. 15 years of mass immigration and white flight have brought Newham to its tipping point. Thank you. Now, Newham has the lowest white British population of anywhere in the UK. We had this massive transformation in which, which it seemed to happen overnight. People who have not been back here for many years, they say 
Oh God, I can't believe what's happened here. I've come out of Upton Park Station and uh, I could be, I could be in um, Baghdad. It was about 10 years ago on the buses, you could count one white person to maybe 20 Asian people, you know, and the schools as well, you know, the, you, you go past a, see a school there and I think, you know, there's something missing there. And there was just no white children. It just seemed to be the Asian people were beginning to control this area. 39-year-old Tony Cunningham is a bus driver whose family has lived in Newham for over 150 years. The respect, it's gone. The manners are gone. You know, the Christian values are gone, everything. Um, the English people just seem to disappear. Where have they all gone? But there's one thing that brings the East Enders who have moved away from Newham back to their roots. Where's your tomato sauce? Tony has two children. His eldest, 12-year-old Jack, lives in Hornchurch in Essex with his mum. But on match days, he travels back to Newham to be with his dad, a lifelong West Ham supporter. I have said it sometimes. I said, Jack, you, you don't know how lucky you are. I said, because my dad's never done this. The season ticket was out the question. My mum used to have to give me five pounds, which was a lot of money back then, to get me over West Ham. He turned right. Tony's dad, Mac, was one of thousands of immigrants from the Caribbean that arrived in the 1960s to make a new life in London. Here he met Tony's mum, a fourth-generation East End Cockney. I don't think my name was too pleased with the idea because my dad was from Jamaica and my mum was from here. And it was, it was unusual then. Um, he was pretty much a loner. Him and my mum were never really together. I never known them to be together. There might have been some problems for my dad here and there, but there were some problems for me here and there. We well, was called nigger when we was growing up. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I had to educate me then. She had a cat called the same thing, but I said, Nan, you have to, you, 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 things that she, I, I couldn't tell her, this is how I said, Nan, you can't have a cat called that, you know? But she didn't really get the gist of it. I remember, at 10 years old, I was going over here, West Ham. In them days, black players used to get bananas thrown at them. I remember a player once picking up a banana, peeling it and eating it. Now, 25 years on, Tony feels part of a new minority in Newham. Yeah, you feel alone. It's most of the Muslims, they stick together, their children stick together. If you're an outsider, they don't want no part in, you know, they don't want to know you whatsoever. After spending his whole life in Newham, Tony has decided to join the Exodus and is moving to Hornchurch to be nearer his son. West Ham's moving, I'm moving. You know, I'm taking myself away from... I'm, I'm going to go and find a better life. I don't regret it, not, not, not a bit. Now, even the most deeply entrenched EastEnders are abandoning their roots. This year, West Ham United is moving out of the beloved Berlin ground and bringing an end to over a hundred years of history. But nowhere will this loss be more felt than in the working men's club on West Ham's doorstep.
big thing coming up when West Ham go um, uh, after this season. Um, the closer you get to it, the, the more you start to worry, you know. Through the week, we're not so busy, and so we have to make it up wherever we can. I'm more um, upset about the older people. We have our tea dances twice a week. Two ladies groups come back with their tea dances, you know, and they can just about make out the stairs. And those that can't, we've got a little lift for them to take them up there, you know. And it's the highlight of their week, you know. Where are these people going to go if we have to close down? Afternoon, ladies. It's a tonic for them, you know. I hope you've all got extra oh. makeup on today. If you've got well, all no, the extra makeup, yeah. and clean knickers, and, yes. And, ah, yes. and can yes, you case. can you make sure you keep the language down, please? <laughs> One of the tea dancers is missing today, Eileen, who is moving out of the East End following the death of her husband Albert five months ago. This is the uh, Eileen and Albert Museum. He was a very shy person. But it lasted a long time, didn't it? 68 years. You miss them? Yes. It's been nice living here, though. Used to be lots more of us than what there is now. The family downstairs is a Somalian. She's lovely. Sometimes she posts letters for me. A very kind family. Eileen and Albert raised their family here. But one by one, they all left the East End. That is why I have to move, because there's nobody here belonging to me, keep their eye on me. With her health deteriorating, 90-year-old Eileen is moving to Norfolk to be nearer her daughter. And I was talking to uh, one lady called Lily up at the club. She's a bit, little bit older than me. She's uh, 91 now. I was saying something about moving, and she said, you don't want to go, really, do you? <laughs> if I let myself think about it, I don't want to go. <laughs> The life that we know is finished. Don't you agree? Yeah. yeah. And that's true. Newham's got the biggest immigration population in this country for the size of what it is. There's 147 languages yeah, in yeah. Newham. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to home. We've lost our community. We're oh. foreigners in our own country yeah. now. When you're on a bus, I mean, yeah. the Eileen and I were only the only two white people on there this morning. Yeah. We were the only two, two and it bunch. was chock a block full. It's murder. The Oakmans have raised their families in these streets for six generations. Sisters Amy and Leanne are both stay-at-home mums and do the school run together every morning. It's not really raining yet, is it? I only live six minutes from Leanne's. I see Leanne every day, every minute of the day. We are a really, really close family. This is Leanne's last week with her family before she leaves the East End for a new life in Rayleigh. It's so much cleaner, the people are so much more polite, they'll say morning, everybody knows each other. Morning! It's more English in Essex. I think my boys have been mixing with their own. As your child gets older anyway, they start getting a mind of their own. Even when Mag goes to secondary schools, as a mum, I will be behind her all the way. And the minute she steps out of line, whether I'm here still, whether I'm in Essex, she will be getting put straight back on that right road. Because that's how we've been brought up. How would you feel if she came back with a boyfriend who wasn't um. white? 